Welcome to the final step. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to be finalizing the riff that we've been working on the last couple of lessons. Um, as a refresher, we started out with dialing in a really inspiring clean tone to work off of creating a simple melodic idea that serves as a sketch, extrapolating upon that sketch to make it into more of like a concretized riff that I like to refer as the black and white drawing. And in this lesson, we're going to be coloring that black and white drawing with the help of effects. I have with me here an array of petals, but I think the ones that I'm deciding on using would be maybe a bit of chorus and then uh, maybe a bit of delay, maybe a bit of reverb, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. So as I stated earlier, I view the bass melody as like the black and white drawing and effects can really help you enhance your sonic storytelling and you can selectively color in certain parts of your song Maybe not the entire song, but yeah, certain parts just to help set your mood and complete the picture. So what we have to work with right now is, is this. kind of sounds like dancey a little bit uh sounds very optimistic sounds maybe like soaring through clouds uh yeah just just overall positive vibes <laughs> um and i guess i don't know let's play around with some effects uh i think maybe for the main part i i wanted to kind of have like a more nostalgic feel and i feel that chorus has always kind of helped things uh, sound a bit uh, it kind of softens the tone a bit and to me it always adds like a layer of nostalgia to it because when I think of chorus I think of bands like The Cure and The Police and they were very chorus laden bands so let's add some chorus to that <laughs> for this next part. Uh, to me that part, it's such like a legato melody and I feel like it would, could really use some, some delay, some additional trails to make it sound like it's blossoming. To me delay has always been one of those effects where it just instantly makes something sound like you're in space and you're like underwater even. <laughs> so I think delay could really help this part come to life. Let's see what that sounds like. So at this point, I think uh, we, we pretty much have everything colored in and completed. Let's see what we've done so far. <laughs> to do some sonic storytelling of your own. As you can see, all it really takes to tell stories with melody is to, number one, have a good melodic foundation. It can be simple, it doesn't have to be complicated because you can always build up. And another important thing is also to have inspiring tone because if you don't like the sound that's coming out of your guitar, you're probably not gonna wanna spend time with your idea and you're not gonna feel motivated 
to really build on it. Um, and also pedals and everything won't sound as cool. That's why we spend so much time dialing in a tone on the AC-10. Once you have that basic melodic idea, which I like to liken to a sketch, um, you can go ahead and enhance and build upon that basic sketch uh, and refine it with different techniques and effects, which I like to compare to colors and textures, visual analogies, <laughs> to help complete your sonic portrait. So yeah, that's my whole process in a nutshell. Hopefully you feel inspired to do some uh, sonic painting of your own. <laughs> Happy creating!